morning guys, how you guys doing? Good morning. We are back at it once again. <laughs> it's a never ending story. It is a daily thing around here. We wanted to show you guys um, what we've done so far inside the small shed. We did a lot of work. We did a lot of work, but we didn't film it because we just wanted to get it done. Plus, I mean, you can only deal with so many setting up for power videos kind of a thing. Right. Right. <laughs> but we did go and install all the outlets everywhere. So everywhere has got an outlet now. Also did the plates. Yep. These are the nail guards I was talking about in one of the videos. So those things go over wherever you drill a hole. So if on the wall you hit a nail, you don't want the nail to go through and hit this wire. So everywhere where we drilled a hole in here has got one of those to be safe, right? And that's how you're supposed to do it. We did forget to put the GFCIs on. We were just working and totally space cased it, but we do have them right here. We just gotta take these outlets out and put the GFCI. And one's for there, for this whole area, for the computer. The other one is for like, the TV area and stuff and this wall. Oh, hmm. another thing. We did remove the TV outlet. Yep. So, remember we used to have an outlet right here, a box anyway. So, we decided to get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to conduit a piece inside the wall and I've seen this a bunch of times when builds basically it's just a little small condo pipe that comes down and then comes out at the bottom so you can feed all the wires inside the wall and out the bottom so when you hang a TV you don't see the, the wires on the wall it looks really nice you won't even know it's there mm -hmm. or you can run one extension cord up and have it behind the TV if you need to because we're not going to be plugging a lot of stuff into this outlet this is literally going to be like honestly, the TV, TV. and like yeah. why it's Xbox. Yeah, I can't see. And that's TV. about it. So we don't need more than two plugs. Yeah, we don't have cable. Maybe three plugs, right? But not even remotely close to 20 amps. So on top of that electrical work, um, we did some more stuff, but I did want to say now, except for the light switch in here, which we are going to run, um, you know, the lighting switch. We just haven't done that yet. Um, this shed's done for power. It's done. Yeah, Except for one switch yep. for the porch light that we're going to put on and the light that goes inside. And we and the reason why we haven't decided what light we're going to put in here yet. I don't know where it's going to be. I don't know. We're still looking into that. Yeah, we're not there yet. Because the whole shed, too, guys, the roof is going to be it's going to be open like this. It's just going to be drywalled in between. And you're gonna see the rafters. So I gotta figure a way to hide the wire, right? Cause it's open and make it to where it looks nice. So that's why we haven't ran that yet. Yep. Another thing, if you guys can see in the background, okay, we did. We powered the small shed the way I wanted to do it from our panel. I gotta get one more clip to hold this here, but it's down. We went down about three feet yeah, I would say about three feet down and all the way over. It took me and Roxanne better part of a day to do that. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was rough. That was Come on, horse fly, get away from me. It's on you. If you guys are wondering, man, why did he run a pipe across his house like this? That looks dumb. Or I would have done it just straight down from the pole and over. The reason why we did it that way is because right here is where our septic line is going to come out. Okay. And over in this area is where our septic is going to be. So I did not want to chance digging. And then when the septic line has got to be put in and dug down, I didn't want it to have to cross and maybe um, mess up something with the septic. So or have to move the power or have to move the power. Yeah. I think we're going to paint that either black or match it to this. So you won't see it as much. Maybe plant some rose bushes or something here. Eventually something. Yeah, I'm thinking rose bushes would to be hide better. this a little bit better. Yeah, but that's how it is right now. Just to keep this area clear for when I do have to do the septic, I didn't want to have anything in the way whatsoever. All right, so now the power situation is is done for the small shed. We're just waiting for the hookup. Right. Next thing we got to do is we're going to start insulating the roof, and this is what we bought this for. So this stuff right here 
is designed for metal buildings for tin roofs for metal roofs is what it's designed for it's thermal insulation now this is just basically the vapor barrier guys this isn't our insulation that we're putting in we don't want to do spray foam we talked about it and the reason why we don't want to do that because if we spray foam that roof we're not we're not going to have the airflow that we need um, inside that shed sure spray foam works as a vapor barrier also i understand that but the price of it also is ridiculous yeah we have reached <laughs> out and got a couple quotes for both sheds yeah and they want like six thousand dollars for both sheds yeah it's kind of expensive it's, and we're really on a budget so. yeah and so the next best thing we found like i said is this insulation right here mm -hmm. it's for like i said vapor barrier it's going to go on the tin roof on the inside this stuff when they install it normally you'd put it on top of the roof and then the tin right but obviously i'm not going to rip off the roof no. on our shed mm -hmm. just to put that down and put the roof back on um i probably wouldn't put it back on right and it'd leak my luck yeah right <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it um in sections and we're going to put it in between the rafters and we're going to staple it in um to the two by fours on the rafters inside there mm -hmm. and that's going to keep some airflow out of that top um peak vent pretty much and so there's not going to have moisture build up and we're going to try to make this i'm going to get around the perimeter of the roof they have some screws at the very end some decking screws with like rubber gaskets on it i'm going to loosen those up a little bit one at a, um, one piece at a time and see if we can get this stuff shoved in tucked in tight. tucked in so if mm -hmm. there is any moisture whatsoever it's going to leak outside yeah okay that's how they would have done it normally anyway just it's a little harder for us to do because the roof's already on yeah so we are going to put this underneath as well right yes yeah so this stuff is going on the inside of the shed and underneath the shed mm -hmm. okay to block the moisture coming up to the floor. Yeah. And then we're gonna insulate the bottom of the floor too and then put some visqueen down or underneath it or some waterproofing stuff with airflow though. You don't wanna create a hot tent, you know, in between. Yeah, no. You gotta have airflow. Yeah, and I wanna mention too, we do have the visqueen underneath the rock. Mm -hmm. Plus we are gonna skirt it and we'll have all the insulation underneath. So I think it will be pretty good underneath there and it'll have good airflow. Yeah. You know, we'll make sure that the insulate or the skirting underneath has some kind of airflow, and you got the visqueen that helps yeah. with moisture. And I think we'll be fine. We'll be all right. So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. Is at least I want to get done the internal roof of this small shed over here. I got both the ladders out, ready to go, because we're still waiting for power, and you know we're trying to get everything done before that happens. I do have my blue eddy over here um, for the fan. Because last time we were in here, it was so hot inside that shed, it was unbearable. Oh, it's been hot. It was a sweat box. <laughs> so let's get to work. Let's get it. Good thing this stuff's light. I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, this stuff, if you're wondering, it's reflective on one side. Okay? It's like small bubble wrap. Yeah, it's like bubble wrap. All right, it's white on one side. To make it look good, if you put it in here and that's all you put, so it's not, you know, reflective up here. It doesn't look like tin foil on the roof. So the, the tin side, you're going to be facing up. And that helps with the heat, too. Then the white is going to be facing down. This roll is as wide as two of these rafters. Okay, so we're going to cut it in the middle here. We have a little overhang, and we're going to run it. We're going to try to tuck it in under the tin right here, and it's going to run one piece. It's going to run inside all the way up, all the way down, and then tuck and it's gonna be stapled to like these boards 
and on the side for these two by fours as tight as we can get it in there. And that's still gonna allow airflow. See these things right here, these vents? It's still gonna allow airflow to come in from the outside. And the cap vent, this whole thing right here is a big vent, okay? And so we're not blocking that at all. So once that stuff's up, then we put regular insulation, then we put drywall. Does that make sense, guys? It's just the vapor barrier to help out with the insulation and block heat. That's why it's a thermal insulation. You know things are getting real when Anthony's getting his tool belt on. My electrician's tool belt, yeah, hey, which I well, love. Yeah, you were doing electrical work the other day, so you're not lying. <laughs> no, you can get you you can get new bags for this if you want like a construction set of but this thing I mean it's got a hammer holder, it's got everything, a drill holder if I need yeah, it right play, here. Place for your tape measure yeah. and pencils and all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah, so. so it works good. Yeah. It works really this good. This is the one that I got for my old job. So they let me keep it, you just order it and yeah. get work it down. So I really hope I really hope we do this right. I think we will. Yeah. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Man, pretty soon, guys, we won't need to plug in the fan to the Blue, Ye uh, Blue Yeti. Eddie. Pretty soon. So excited. Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen feet. Thirteen feet from. There, there. go of it. That wasn't my bad. I won't let it go this time. <laughs> so our permanent marker died. I brought two, one for now and one for backup just in case. Anthony's out here getting ready to get up on that roof. Well, I gotta see what size those screws are. Yeah. They're small. Be very careful. So look guys, so these are the screws we're talking about. They're just these little ones. They got placeholders and everything already. But look, you get a lot of leeway inside here to put that foam and there's flashing all the way up here. So it's gonna work out really good. Just stuff a little bit in there and then put these screws back and it's gonna hold it nice and tight. All right, we've cut this sheet in half. So each one of these is gonna go in between the rafters. And I looked and removing the screws over there worked perfect. There's gonna be no problem whatsoever. So now Anthony and I have discussed uh, jobs we're both gonna or do. <laughs> yep. He's gonna install. And I'm taller. Yeah, taller and we have this short little ladder in here, so. It'd be a struggle for me, and then I'm gonna cut the pieces for him so he can just 
Zip, 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 and in well, real quick. Yeah, make it easy. Yeah, clamp. We'll just clamp one of these on to the new piece as a template. Make sure you just cut. Yep. You don't have to measure, you don't have to do any of that. Ready to go. Yep, should be good. See Roxanne's getting it. Trying. <laughs> Me and Roxanne make a good team. We always work together quite well, I think. Which is nice when you have big things like this to do. Help each other out, you know? What you think, Wyatt? It's nice. Wait till we get power in here. It's gonna be awesome, huh, bud? Can't you just sit here and imagine you playing video games? Look, right the now? TV could be right there on that wall that you're looking at. <laughs> he finally decided to come over here and see what was going on. Yeah. Anthony's getting it on the roof. So looking good. I'm uh, kind of. Getting behind here, I only got two more pieces left to cut, so. We're trying to get it to where it stays in there. Yeah. I think that's the last one Roxanne's got to cut. Is that the last one? One more. Oh, you got one more? One, two, three, four. How many you got in there? One, two, three, three, yeah, two more. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Alright, two more then I guess, guys. Two more. One more sheet. And see guys how look. I tucked it in. So that goes to the outside. That one I haven't done yet, but that goes to the outside. So if there is any condensation, it'll just go out, you know, out where it's supposed to go. But I don't think there's gonna be any because of this big vent up on top right now. The whole thing across is a vent. So even though we're covering this up, I don't think there's gonna be any condensation because of that vent.
almost done. Anthony's got, got one left after that one. It's looking nice though. Oh yeah, wait till we do the drywall. That's really gonna suck. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to get another ladder, that way I can help them. I can't help them because, well, I could pick up that other one. It's all right. We still have to go on the outside and bring them all out. Yeah, we still got to tuck them in. Get them up. And now, we're going to go eat some lunch. Yeah. We're hungry. Wyatt's yeah. hungry. He's already been in his lunch. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll have to un undo all the tin on the outside and bring them out. And then we screw the tin back down. It won't be too bad though. I'll stay in the inside and then Anthony can go on the outside and he can unscrew and I'll tuck and he can screw back in. So yeah. shouldn't take too long. All right, back from lunch. I'm gonna get back at it. Got all of this done inside. But now we gotta push them all out. So I gotta go outside, get on the ladder. Roxanne's gonna be inside. She'll feed it through and then I'll screw it back down. So I have to unscrew them, feed it through, and then screw them back down. We'll just work our way across and then the back side too to get that done. A little update on my grass it's still dirt. <laughs> it's still dirt. Um, I, it's literally rained i think two times since i plant uh seeded it it rained the first day that i planted the seed or threw the seed out and then it did rain um yesterday morning so the ground is still even kind of wet from yesterday so that's good because it was you know stayed pretty cloudy and overcast yesterday so hopefully it will grow it just needs more rain i can't I can't water it like I'm supposed to. You're supposed to water it like two or three times a day to get it growing and started. And I know that's like the most important part, but I don't have water over here and I don't have a way to bring water over here. So I just gotta wait for the rain. I'll just throw seed out there every so often. It'll grow, I ain't worried about it. Well, we finished putting in the insulation. We got it all in and tucked around on the tops and the outsides. So the insulation is going out from the inside out. And it took a while because it is really hot. And I'm roasting to death. It's humid. But it's done, so I just gotta put the screws around the outside back in, but I'm not gonna do that until later. Probably tomorrow. But that's about it for today. So I guess we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.